Hello traders in today's video we will talk about a very good technical indicator that is ultimate oscillator the contents of this video are how to insert ultimate oscillator in ami broker software introduction overbought and oversold regions interpreting buy and sell signals and the conclusion now we will learn how to insert ultimate oscillator in this ami broker software you can see the chart of nifty has been plotted over here now see in the left side of your screen you can see a toolbar there you can see a folder which named as indicators then give double click in this indicators folder then you can see the indicators list will appear scroll down the names of indicators and find ultimate oscillator then give double click over here then click okay option ultimate oscillator has been inserted in your ami broker software now we will see how to insert 70 level and 30 level here in the right side of your screen you can see this option named as horizontal line give double click in this option then put the mouse pointer over here then give single click over here you can see a line has been drawn then give double click over this line you can see a box has been appeared write 70 in this box then click okay 70 line will be drawn in your software similarly in this way you have to draw 30 line in this software Thirty line has been inserted in your Ami Broker software. The ultimate oscillator is a technical indicator developed by Larry Williams, used in technical analysis. Charting helps to find your probability trend reversals point. The indicator was constructed using the weighted average of three periods instead of one, as in the cash of. other momentum oscillator it is mainly used to identify divergences and give buy or sell signals based on those divergences now we will go through the term overbought region and oversold region when the ultimate oscillator reaches above 70 then it is considered as overbought region and when the ultimate oscillator reaches below 30 then it is considered as oversold region in this chart you can see the overbought region and the oversold region here the ultimate oscillator reaches above 70 and it is the overbought region and here the ultimate oscillator reaches below 30 and it is considered as oversold region now we will understand how to interpret buy and sell signal with the help of ultimate oscillator to predict a buy signal it is necessary that the ultimate oscillator must reach below 30 and bullish divergence must occur that means price makes a lower high but the ultimate oscillator makes a higher low these conditions are necessary to fulfill to generate a buy signal In this chart you can see that the ultimate oscillator is below 30 that means it is below the oversold region and here the price is making lower low and the ultimate oscillator is making higher low this is termed as bullish divergence in this way you can predict the buy signal with the help of ultimate oscillator the conditions to be fulfilled to predict sell signal are the ultimate oscillator must reach above 70 and it must occur bearish divergence that means price is making a new high but the ultimate oscillator is making a lower high in this chart you can see that the ultimate oscillator is above 70 and the price is making higher high and the ultimate oscillator is making a lower high 
all the conditions are fulfilled here in this way you can predict the cell signal with the help of ultimate oscillator and now the conclusion part the ultimate oscillator is a momentum oscillator that incorporates three different time frames this usually works better with longer parameters and longer trends it is very much helpful for stock traders so friends thanks for watching this video if you really like the video then subscribe it to our website www.lifetradesystem.com thank you